come out sharp sharp sharply sharply let's come out and say thank you to god they know the rules of the game i know today is december Okay. <laughs> so we're ready. Please, you face the congregation and tell us what God has done. Praise the Lord. I know it's Thanksgiving, but I know you are so nice. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So um, it's a family Thanksgiving, and we want to sing a song as a family. That's actually our Thanksgiving. Our baby. Is now a big girl by God's grace on the 16th she'll be 12. Um, 4th of December is a wonderful time we celebrate every time in the year because God spared us from death. So we just want to thank God. Over to you. When I think about
and we want to thank God for it. But see, I like to just say how how God did a miracle in my life. You know, um, in August of 2008, um, it was in the morning, early hours of the morning. So I woke up and I heard the Holy Spirit saying, Amina, Amina, Amina. So I asked, I said, what about Amina? So he said, if you don't go and ask for her hand in marriage, someone else is going to take her. And that is not the right person. So and we were just friends. Like I've said here before, but see, so this is very special because it was going to be the first day I would ask a woman out in my life. So I rushed to her place, fast forward, uh, got into the room, sat on the edge of the set, and I, she was like, Sam, what's happening? I said, I won't tell you something. She said, okay, go ahead. And I said, I came to tell you that I love you and I want to marry you and don't say no. <laughs> so she was nodding and she was like, you want to say something? I said, don't say anything. I said, have you not been praying for a husband? She said, she nodded in affirmation. And I said, don't I look like the man you should marry? And she wanted to say something again. I said, no, don't say anything. <laughs> And I said, guess what? She said, what? I said, follow me like a fool. So she's been following me like a fool for, for... Okay, so, so yeah. So I said, I said, guess what? She said, what? So we, we, we will marry in December. And she was like, how is this going to happen? I said, well, I don't know, but we're going to marry in December. So fast forward, four months and about six days, we said, I do. And she said, I do. 6th of December in 2008. And then, this is going to be 15 years she's been following me. And I want to thank God. I want to thank, I'm, not, I'm not the kind of person that flatters. But before God, I want to say thank you for my wife. She's a very strong woman, right? Because to deal with this guy, man. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That song was for us all. And we will never. We, we are blessed in 15 years with Five beautiful, wonderful, intelligent children. And I, and I just want to thank God also. You know, in 2021, in less than a month, I was involved in deadly car crashes. And I came out without a scratch on my body. You know, and I just want to thank God. She came in one of those accidents. She came, I was dead. Second time. They broke the door. Got into the bed and she was punching my chest. And then I came back. And I was like, she was, she was crying. So I'm not going to die now. You know, we will live for the next 40, 50 years together. So dear Lord God Almighty, we want to say thank you. topic of today just captured what I planned to do because it's in perspective thanksgiving. There are certain things that, you know, God just answers you beyond your words. You have it in your heart. Sometimes you don't even know how to tell him. So one thing for me, apart from being happy, I'm a happy person. I love to be happy. I don't like anything to tamper with that. And I don't give anybody any opportunity to really hold that. Nobody has it. So I told God a place of worship for me is, is, is key. It's second to family to me. A place of worship. And I kept praying. I've been, I want to say I'm a balanced Christian because there's no congregation I've not been to. I, I have picked. The Bible says here, a little there, a little. So, but I want, I needed a home. Yes, you know, a, a, a church, a home. And um, the Ogumba Meru's will be friends for like 30 years now. So, and so why when we came here and they started worshiping here and they invited me, the very first day I came here, I said, this is home. I just said, this is home. And I want to thank God for you, for everyone. Pastor Yemi, Pastor Yems, he's not just a pastor to me. He's my brother and he's my friend. And I don't take that for granted. Pastor, he, 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 he typifies Jesus to me. He typifies Jesus to me. I'm sorry I'm taking time because this is hard for me. As a child of God, if you don't have a place of worship, you're gone. You know? So he... I see in him Jesus. Jesus is approachable. I see... Yes. No, it's my testimony. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. It's, 
it, it means because I've been in a church where you're scared to go to church because the pastor is a monster, so to say. And this is home. It's key. And I want to thank God for the grace of God. I see in him somebody that wants, to, wants Jesus beyond just being a head in church. And I thank God. And the Lord will honor you and grace you more abundantly. Thank you. I want to thank my husband. Yes. I, 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 want, <laughs> I want to say that. I want to say that boldly. Because I see Jesus in him. Sometimes I ask if he's a wizard. As in you be winch. You know that kind of thing because. There are things he knows. He can be tough. You need two good hearts to live with him. And God has provided me with that heart. You know, he has given to me. I, I, he's, he, he's, he's a teacher. He's a friend. He's a father. He, he lets me be. I've, I don't feel the weight of being married or that thing. No, I'm free. I'm happy. He, he, he just gives me the wings to fly. And I appreciate you for that. And I thank you. <laughs> thank God for my life. I want to thank him for making me see the end of this year. I want to thank him for how he's adding another year to me on the 20th of December. I want to thank him for keeping my siblings, the pastor, and everyone alive to see today. May his name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You know, when serious testifiers have left the platform, it becomes difficult. <laughs> <for people. laughs> hey, Pastor Sam, I'm sticking this <laughs> Praise the Lord. Um, we want to thank God for how he has um, helped us. Um, maybe I start by saying that we're thoroughly grateful because last year I was in heavy debt. Real debt, as in like, by this time last year, it was like your phone is ringing and you're looking at the phone. Sometimes your heart is already out. But fast forward to today, I don't know how God has done it, but we've been able to clear everything. So you can, you know, just money is coming, not like money is coming, but it's just settling debts. It's just settling debts. Some people can be very funny, but... God was faithful, so we're standing here a year after, and we're like, ah, at least <laughs> we, can, we can breathe now. I want to say glory be to the Lord. Um, I, I want to also thank God for our son who just testified. So, um, I would tell Paul that three children is enough. Maybe even if I'd wanted to have more, but because of the way we got them, I'll have still said it's, it's enough. So for him, he was born on the 20th of December, just um, past uh, midnight. They brought him out. Immediately they brought him out. I took uh, him and I went out to pray. Usually if it's a CS, as we normally do, I would usually 15 at most, 30 minutes. My wife should be out. But um, she wasn't out. The next thing I heard my colleagues shouting blood of Jesus. Inside the theater, doctor, you know that there's a problem. <laughs> Someone knows, run out to pick stuff like that. And, and to be frank, I just told God I was angry. I really was angry. I was angry. I was angry. I felt that, I just felt something in me that these processes of having a child, and I just told God, if you want to kill her, kill her, I'll bury her. That this is, I couldn't pray. I mean, I was broken. Before the first one came, all the drama, the one we lost. I mean, I was like, what is this? Is it that you just don't, are you acting up? That because I don't understand, you can do this thing. Why are you making it look like this? And I just sat down there. After about, must have been up to two hours after. I saw them wheel her out. 
and um, I held her hand. She was like, free for me. They are dragging me. I said, dragging you to where? Yeah. You have come outside. They are dragging you. <laughs> that you will not go anywhere. Summarily, I want to thank God for keeping her alive. The fact that she's been alive for the past 13 years, it's a miracle. I mean, not series of miracles because it's almost as if at every point in time there's the drama. And you're like, how would... And you're like, you, what will be my story? I say, I'm when I'm married, but yeah, now I'm struggling to bury. When the God I serve has all the capacities. But God has not put us to shame. He has kept us. We've been celebrating. And I know this time next year, we'll still gather again to say, we worship Him and we're grateful. Oi, Kondo. I am a walking for boy come do u bone ye ne fi boy come do I am a walking for boy come do u bone ye ne fi Father, the entire Wilson's family is here to say thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness over the years. Thank you for your love and your mercy that we are not consumed. Thank you for being God and for sitting on the throne and deciding over our matters. Thank you for bringing us to King's Court. Thank you for this beautiful family you have rooted us in. Father, we say to you be the glory for our yesterday. To you be the glory for our today. And to you be the glory for our tomorrow. Take all the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to also appreciate my husband. That <laughs> I want to thank God for his mercies and his goodness. I want to thank God for my children. And I used to tell people, when I used to tell people, having children, if I, Emanuela, can have children, there is nobody that won't have children. There is nobody that cannot. And I'm here to say, Father, thank you for those beautiful gifts. Thank you for my husband. Sister Mina took all the words out of my mouth. This is someone that, if I say I want to do this, he would not say, don't do it. All the things I have that I gave up on, on the way, I say I'm not doing it again. You say you must do this one. And at the end, people will say, ah, Ella, Sister Emanuela, you are this. I say, no, God has given me my own peace. He has. To God be the glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Who is like unto thee? Oh, Lord. Who is like?
I'm here against the Lord. My car refused to start last night. And I decided that this December Thanksgiving, I won't miss it. Thank God for a pastor we can depend on. I called Pastor Yemi this morning to ask, because I couldn't get an Uber, to ask if he could come pick me and the kids. But his number was switched off at 7 a.m. So my neighbor, a Muslim, dropped us in church. God can be trusted. You know, it's easy to say, God, you're my healer, you're my provider. But you see, beautiful when you've experienced God as those things you call him. I'm sure when you tell this time in Manuela to explain what God, what it means for God to be, she knows. God has been so many things to me. But what I want to focus on this morning is Ed Peter. He has been my source of help. You see, I chose not to have any other plan outside of God. I chose not to. And God has been faithful. You see this God, he does what no man can take the glory for. No man. Even if he uses someone to achieve that thing, no man can take the glory. God can be trusted. He's the doer of all good things. And he makes all things, not leaving one single thing out, beautiful in his own time. He puts a song of praise in our mouth, thanksgiving on our lips, happiness in our hearts. Indeed, before we call, he answers. Even as we speak, he hears. Psalm 109, there's a part in Psalm 109 that says that that they may know that you, Yahweh, you have done this. That this is your hand. God can be trusted. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for life. I also want to thank him because my older sister's birthday is this month and my birthday is next month. Hallelujah. I want to thank God that he kept me he kept us all through the the month and this this month is my birthday. I want to thank God for life and I also want to thank God for making us enter a new month for making us see from January now we're in December Hallelujah Only you deserve my praise Only you deserve my home he has done what no man can do for me only you deserve my praise only you these are my prayer. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for everything that Lord has done for me in my home, in my life. I want to thank God because a lot of things happen from January. Actually, August. Enemy plan one stupid thing to take my life. But this God Almighty kept me alive. I want to say, Jesus, thank you for everything. Even when I'm unfaithful to him, he's faithful. Praise the Lord.
family. Oh. Serious. We were seven. We complete seven years in marriage, 25th of November. Yes. And if somebody would tell me that, Janet, by this year, you have your own house in Abuja, I would say it's in life. Today we are in our own house. So I want to thank God. Thank God for everything. In seven years, we are in our own house. Some people, 20, 30, they are not in their own house. Is it not love? So I want to say thank you. And Pastor, thank you for your blessing, sir. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. And I want to use this uh, opportunity to encourage someone. Uh, this year, either April or May, we are about to pay this church rent. And God said, get involved and God will build you a house. I don't know, maybe even him can remember. He just said it like that. And I keyed into it. I checked what I have and I sent. And I said, God, give me my own house. And today, six months after that time, God gave me my own house. And I also want to thank God in the church if you see that there is, there is a need for something that is where you can invest and you will reap it i kid into it and to god be the glory i am a beneficiary of it and also it doesn't matter the kind of job or business you do if you can beg god and pray for god for three things you will succeed one Ask for his mercy on under your job. Ask for his grace under your job. And ask for the fa for favor of God under your job. God will make men to have mercy on you. God will make men to be gracious unto you. And God will make men to favor you at every point in time. So it doesn't matter. Either you are in NNPC, CBI, I am just a microfinance banker. And to God be the glory. What those guys are doing. God is helping me do it much more. And I pray that the Lord God Almighty will make everything that he has done permanent in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. And I also want to pray for our, thank our pastor. Most of the things I'm preaching, he says, I pick, I act on it, and God blesses me. The Lord bless you, sir. The Lord bless you, sir. The Lord bless you, sir. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, um, today is third. Okay, so in three days' time, my mom would be... So my mom would be 77. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So I want to thank God because when she was coming back, she passed out in the plane. And she was coming back from the US to Nigeria. And um, I think last month or two months ago, they went for my in-laws' friend's father's burial. He too died on the plane while coming home. But God had mercy on my mom. Uh, she was resuscitated. And um, to God be the glory, she's still here and ill and active with us. So I just want to thank God for sparing our life. Praise the Lord. Who is the drawer of all these things? Oh my God. Hallelujah. 